Peace, family. My name is Vicki Dillon, and I'm so pleased to be with you here on African Diaspora News Channel. Please make sure that you give the video a big thumbs up and share the broadcast. Thank you so very much. Dear family, we know that in the United States of America, in which I'm based, we have been dealing with oppressive uh, anti-Black, white supremacist, colonialism forces, right? We see this same pattern around the world, to be sure. I was particularly disturbed with an insight that what appears to be a Kenyan brother here in this video say something about the demands of a loan agreement that they have to make with the Chinese. Watch this, please. Who tell you to buy from African industry, you say, no, we'd rather go to China. And then guess what? The Chinese will make all the products you want. Every single thing you want. By the way, everything here is made in Kenya. Everything is made in Kenya. Down to the suit I'm wearing. The Chinese will make anything you want. Any single thing you want. Down to your roads. Down to your hospitals. Down to the schools that you will take your children to be educated in. And then they will say you have to teach your children Mandarin. As part of your loan agreement. <laughs> oh, Africa. And after they have built the infrastructure in your country. Why do you think they build the infrastructure? Chinese are not stupid. So they're building this infrastructure so that they can take out, not bring in, take out of the continent. And once they've taken out, they tell you, well, you know what? You did not pay for the loan. So now, guess what? We're taking your land. We now own your land. That's what they do. So this is neo-colonialism happening right in front of our eyes. No African leader is speaking about the neo-colonialism and the fact that we are being bought out of our own continent. Okay, family, did you hear that? Something is desperately wrong when a part of your loan agreement means you have to, you allow, you have to be forced to teach your babies, the next generation, their language, Mandarin? What is really going on? It's clearly more than what meets the eye that's happening. And it's clear that their intentions are greater than what we know because of how they're turning so much of their attention to African infrastructure. I was reading uh, some of this piece from The Economist about how the Chinese firms have dominated African infrastructure. And my question is, what are we really setting that up for? In addition to what the brother mentioned, about later taking over your land and this being a blatant form of neo-colonialism. Any single thing you want, down to your roads, down to your hospitals, down to the schools that you will take your children to be educated in, and then they will say you have to teach your children Mandarin as part of your loan agreement. <laughs> oh, Africa. And once they've taken out, they tell you, well, you know what? You did not pay for the loan. So now, guess what? We're taking your land. We now own your land. That's what they do. So this is neo-colonialism happening right in front of our eyes. No African leader is speaking about the neo-colonialism and the fact that we are being bought out. I'm saying, are my African brothers and sisters, and we have, I'm saying in this to my black family in America, just in terms of our neighborhoods here, are we allowing open spies i'm asking a question into our land this brother did not restrict his comments to what's happening in kenya he said they're going to try to lay claim to the continent and then i'm saying wait a minute if the government if business persons engineers and all kind of other chinese are behind all of these different companies and people infiltrating africa Yes, it's no question they're going after the resources, but are they already spying out the land with their best and brightest minds? So while you're giving them access to lands, they're trying to tap to see how much gold and minerals and other uh, 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 items that you use and commodities that's there on the land and they're trying to locate exactly where it is. I am concerned as a prophetic voice that because you gave them some of our brothers and sisters legal access to the land that they're exploiting that access and they may be secretly testing areas to learn where your assets are. 
a phrase that I recently uh, learned, and I, I shared this as a prophetic word to someone. Um, it was not a term I had researched or known before, uh, but basically underground mapping to where you know the assets of a particular person or a nation that's underground. So at any moment, you know where the electrical stuff is, you know where the oils, you know, the power lines, you know where the water resources are because you can severely hamper and endanger another person or another a nation or a company when you have access to their assets and their resources. Is this what's happening? I'm just asking a question to my family. I'd love to hear your comments below. And it's not for me to come up with necessarily a specific solution as, a, as much as it is for me to sound the alarm and to inform us to make us aware of certain things so that we're prepared against this kind of stuff. Talk black to me, somebody. My name is Vicki Dillard. Be sure to connect with me and my yummy metaphysical products and services on my website at vickiplanet.com. That's vickiplanet.com. I'm looking forward uh, to starting my upcoming ancestor webinar to be announced soon. I still have my um, uh, angel calendars that's blessing so many lives at my website. It should be above or below. I can't wait to see you again.